So we're uh, actually signing off from uh, PAX East this year, but as you can see, the show is still going on, but we're gonna sneak out a little bit early because we're flying off to San Francisco and the Game Developers Conference. Yeah, but no, I, no rest for the wicked. No rest indeed, we're gonna be, uh, Oh, we're already knackered, so we're going to be completely spent after a week of, of GDC Madness as well. Uh, but it's been a, a really positive uh, experience, this PAX. It's my oh, yeah. first one, our first one. Yeah. And first time Game Reactor is here. Yep. So uh, it's been a very, very enjoyable experience. A lot of, lot of running around because uh, unlike, for example, E3, where there's, uh, the publishers have a big booth where all the games are represented, you have a lot of appointments all over the show floor, so it's a lot of running around all day. All right, and, uh, but I thought I'd invite you in from behind the camera for this one. Finally. Uh, you've been getting a lot of compliments for your stash this week. Yeah, I, deservedly, I think. Yes, I do believe so, and that's also why I thought it'd be a good idea to bring you out in front of the camera. And also, you've been playing some of the games that we've been seeing, so yeah. might as well share your impressions of those. Uh, we thought we'd start off by yes, you know, going through some of the major high points at, at the show here. A lot of those games are games that we've already seen the demos of, already covered on Game Reactor, it, but they're out here for the public. Things like Wildstar or yeah. Last of Us, Neverwinter is here. Metro Last Light that I played, very enjoyable indeed. Yes. Uh, they have uh, Deus Ex Director's Cut on the show floor as mm. well on the, the that's, Wii U. That's a first. Yeah, so I mean, that, that was exciting. And of course, the big reveal and surprise of the show, DuckTales yes. Remastered HD. Somehow they came to an agreement with Disney and we're finally going to see it. Yeah. And then they're, they're sort of remastering it, which yeah. is nice. Playable on the show floor on one machine. Yes, I think they sort Long of un line. underestimated the demand the for yeah. DuckTales. A uh, little bit, probably. Uh, but uh, the good news is that we actually have a slot to play it at GDC next week. So yeah, we we're will do an interview as well. I didn't pull a douche move. Sometimes you can pull a douche move with your media badge and get in front of the line and yeah. play something, but... Except PAX doesn't really feel like that kind of show, really. You, no, you really do feel like a douche when you do it. I, I did it once and I'm... I yeah, yeah kind of still tainted. It. Yeah. yeah. Unclean. But, um, I, I mean, I have to say one thing about PAX, because I've been to E3, I've been to Gamescom, and I've been to TGS and all these, you know, even smaller shows. But PAX is, is one of the only ones that I would actually come here just as a regular Joe because the, uh, the experiences here are so varied. It's not just waiting in line in order to play a game. It's also all the indies that are represented here. There's a huge tabletop area and all the, uh, the, the rooms along the corridors. You can play console, PC. Yeah, I wish I would only be here to see all the panels, really. The, yeah. the panels themselves are interesting enough to just stay away from the <laughs> expo floor or the tabletop area or the anything else, you can just spend your time in the panels and, yeah, and a lot of people lot, do. Yeah, a lot of huge names talking about uh, their career in the, the yeah. gaming uh, community. And, and, and if you're more interested in sort of face-to-face -face contact with developers, the indie area is just perfect for that. Most of the indie booths are just as developers made the game. Yeah. They're there with their own uh, setups and, you know. Yeah, I lost count of how many times you heard, oh, well, that was my first time on camera. Yeah. How did I do? Because a lot of the, the indies here uh, haven't done a lot of uh, on-camera press, it seems. Really, so really a surprising. lot of exclusive video interviews yeah. there coming up soon. Uh, very surprising to me, really, because I, I would think that the, the major American uh, uh, media would, would cover all these indies when, when they're all in one spot. but. Apparently, they're they're more interested in covering the, the major uh, publishers and, and doing stuff on that. At, at least in video form, I'm sure that they have writers running around. So all but hey, things. more for us. Hey, it's it's all the better. And and we stumble upon a lot of, of great discoveries uh, in the in the in the area. I don't know. Do you have a favorite one? I think uh, Artemis, it's called. Yeah, the the, uh, the, the spaceship, spaceship simulator, yeah. where uh, you play locally with a lot of friends, either on iOS or on PC, Mac, mm. where everybody gets a, a certain job on the spaceship, and then you have to tell people like, hey, you know, put up the shields, and, and if they don't do it, you you die. But you can't sort of like force yourself around. So it's, it's a very cooperative it's game. It's very much Star Trek yeah, yeah. in real life. Exactly, yeah. and. Uh, what else? I, I, I played a game today called Luftrausers that I thought was really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, very simple concept, yet 
there was tremendous depth in the mechanics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as soon as you start playing it, there's a lot of tactics mm. like right away that you uh, you see there. And, and I think the interview that we did was very good as well. Yeah. Transistor was another surprise. They announced it what week before, mm. and uh, you got to play that. Uh, yes. We have the interview already up. Yep. And uh, Max Curse of the Brotherhood is another game that yeah. I played and that that we got an interview on. Uh, also new. Uh, Yes, yes, recently announced. Uh, what else was there with that? Oh, Dungeon Defenders 2 yep. also just recently announced. And I think a lot of fans of Dungeon Defenders were a bit shocked when they came here to PAX yeah. to find out that what's playable on the floor is actually sort of a, a MOBA take on Dungeon Defenders. Yeah, that was, that was very surprising. Yes. But of course, it's also going to include a cooperative mode, yeah. which is the more. Uh, what people are used to, the yeah. four player co op, the sort of the tower defense style exactly. of, of it. But um, interesting to see that, and of course, Trendy have been doing very well, so they had a, a rather large booth and a lot of fans coming up there. Um, I think that's about time to wrap it up. I think we need to leave, we have a plane to catch. Yeah, exactly, we need to run out of here and get to uh, San Francisco, where we'll be also covering GDC. And uh, all the, uh, the content that we've filmed here will be pumping up on the site. Uh, as soon as we humanly possible. Yeah, we're going to FedEx the hard drive back home and get the little elves uh, to, oh, there, to start editing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. elves back home. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Oompa Loompas. <laughs> it's time to dig in and uh, get those videos done and up. So uh, signing off for GRTV this time. That's uh, it. See you in San Francisco.